almost came all the way off. Hi friends, if you're new to the channel, my name is David and I'm together with my dog Lefty. We have made a change. There he is. And my motorcycle and my converted ambulance. We have made a change to my life, our lives, and decided to sell my house change to this 2002 Ford E450 based ambulance. It's got the 7.3 power stroke, 85,000 miles on it when I bought it. I bought the truck in Arkansas, drove down there and got it. Uh, it will be in uh, one of my earlier videos where I drive down to Arkansas and get the truck and come back. That was a uh, <laughs> stressful uh, what was it 36 hours of driving in total by myself uh, 18 hours down and then 18 hours back in a truck that I was totally unfamiliar with where the service engine soon light came on about 15 minutes into the drive home and I just powered through made sure there was good oil plenty of oil I remember right so I scanned it with um, I got a Bluetooth adapter for the OBD port and an app called 4scan, F-O-R-S-C-A-N. It's specifically for Ford and Mercury vehicles for um, engine diagnostics and it's an awesome app. So if you have, if you have a Ford of any type, um, but you know obviously I've got the Power Stroke. If you've got a Power Stroke, get 4scan and get yourself a Bluetooth adapter. I bought one specific, I think it was 20, 29, 30 bucks. Um, I had one of those cheaper, you know, Elm 327 blue ones off of eBay or Amazon and it didn't work with that. So I had to buy one that they recommend. Um, so I think I got it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, and then it works uh, every time. So you fire that app up and pull the engine codes I, I'm getting way off track here. So we are uh, still locally at a campground. I guess um, if I want to be uh, upfront about what's going on, I think I'm scared to leave. Um, but it's time to go. Um, and here in here in uh, New York um, like today it's just in the 70s like the weather it's it's just really quickly feeling not like summer anymore you know really clear blue sky with big puffy white clouds and in this part of the country that means fall and it's starting to feel like fall you know it's going down in the 50s at night right now you know forget about the weather it's just time to go I got the Kind of the last hurdle I had to get over was getting the motorcycle attached to the truck. And you saw that the bike is here at the campground. So I did get the bike attached to the truck. Let me show you what it looks like out here. The, the carrier anyways. Now I've got a couple items sitting on it. Let me unload this. I was just... Okay. So this, this is the carrier that I got. It is called the Ultimate MX Hauler. And so you can kind of see, you know, it slides into the, to the trailer hitch. It has an anti-wobble pin device that I have in there. Uh, it has a little bottle jack that's a part of it and so it's in the up position right now so when you lower down that bottle jack this platform drops down you know about down to here 
and I'm able to roll the bike kind of right over top of the platform. Um, the, the undercarriage of the bike rests on here and then through these two openings here there's these large long bolts that go down through giant wing nut washer lock washer that go on the bottom and then this top of the bolt has a, a real thick solid aluminum so you go down through the foot pegs of the motorcycle so if you look at the, the bike here, there's the foot pegs. So that bolt goes down through the foot peg, grabs the foot peg, so you're basically bolting the bike to the carrier. And so I loaded it up. I got this thing a couple days ago, a few days ago. Uh, installed it put the bike on it and drove 30 miles and it didn't fall off it didn't come loose it looked exactly the same when I got here as when I left the house and I, I as I was driving here I said to myself I just can't stress over this people are using these things successfully I haven't read any stories of them falling apart and so when I say it's time to go, I mean it's time to go. That was my last big hurdle, and that, that's solved. And so um, I've got I've got two different hot spots. This one here, and I'll go over in details. I'm going to do a separate video because I'm I've been kind of chasing chasing data plans, and then I've got this one. And you notice they both say Verizon. Um, I have another one that I've bought that's on its way here right now. So I'm going to end up with three hotspots, all so that I can try to guarantee that I'm going to have data wherever I go. I got to open these doors up. It's getting warm in here when you open these back doors off oh, boy that feels good immediately a breeze comes blowing through here that's awesome so I restocked my all my MREs up here so I've got uh, case a case B so I got 24 meals I've eaten a couple I still have several um, of the first strike back there I, I want to order two more cases you can't beat those things for the price and for ease of uh, preparation and they're always there and you don't have to cook something so I could pull over and in 15 minutes have a hot meal that fills me up and <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna order some more and then so every time I order something then I'm waiting a few more days for it to arrive uh, I should have ordered two cases when I ordered them. I'm, I'm a dumpski. I've had the truck in the shop one more time. There was a clunking noise coming from the drive line under uh, first acceleration. It turns out there was a TSB for regreasing the slip yoke, which my, my friend Tim, the mechanic, he said, yeah, we used to have that issue. And then when, they, when I put it in there, the, uh, the guy that worked on it, Dylan, he looked it up, TSB, he already knew what it was because it's a common issue. So they disassembled, greased, reassembled. He said all the parts are good. There's nothing wrong with anything. Uh, and it doesn't make that clunking anymore. So I just wanted to be sure that nothing was gonna um, let go on me. Um, so I've put 550 miles on the truck in the last three weeks, just around town here and as a kind of a shakedown. I've had zero issues, no problems at all. The truck is consistent. It starts the same, it runs the same, it feels the same. 
So I don't think that I have any issues mechanically with the truck that need to be addressed. Uh, so I'm, I'm really just, I'm waiting on this one last hotspot to arrive. Excuse me, and that that's pretty much it. Um, there's no reason I have to leave. I just feel like the longer I put it off, that I'm putting it off. Now, I'm taking advantage of this time to, to do some more projects on the truck. I just added a, another shelf and picked up a whole bunch of storage. I'll show you in the cabinet where I store my extra set of uh, wheels for the, for the bike. So before, this, this area up here was, I didn't have anything there. So now I've added this shelf. Um, you can see the, the milk crate fits just beautifully up there. I'm able to fit Lefty's extra bag of food here. I actually put some a different hold down system for the wheels. I had the um, the ambulance uh, like seat belt type strap this here. I had this um, attached to the wall uh, with these just these strips that that held the the strap on the wall of the cabinet, and then I had the strap going around the wheels, but I wasn't able to really cinch it down. You know, this is kind of a seat belt type. It's not brand new. It doesn't work real excellent. I could probably lubricate it and get it working better, but I just wasn't really secure. So they're much, much better now with these bungee cords on here. So I've just put some, um, I, I, I bought a whole bunch of, um, what do you want to call them? Like loops that you can attach down and use as um, holding points. Let me show you them. They're so handy. And let me show you. So here's some of them. So you can see, you know, two screws. These are really strong. I ordered, uh, I've got like four of this exact one here. Very strong, very thick, heavy. And then I have some smaller ones. So you can see the difference in size um, between these. So these here, are excellent for screwing to the wall and then you can hook a bungee cord to it uh, hook anything to it really so these are very handy and I'm really glad I ordered them I've got I don't know a whole whole bunch of them because I I wanted to always have them available when when if something comes up where I'm like hey you know I could really use a hook or I could really use a strap or a bungee here I've got plenty of I've got plenty of those that I can attach to the wall. So, uh, what else have I done? Um, I don't know if I showed you where I added. I added this um, vinyl wood up to this area here. So, you know, this is a flip-down uh, table. I use that really as my food prep table. So I put this, I added the wood up in this area here. I really like it. I think it added a, a lot of character to this area. Ah, I just figured out what that noise was. It was my back door that blew open. So the ambulances, and I've seen this on others, to keep these doors open, they have these kind of loops attached to the doors. And then these are, these aluminum bumpers, they have rubber in here, and when you swing the door open, that goes in between those rubber bumpers, kind of wedges in there, which in turn holds the door open. They work perfect. I've never had them, I've never had them blow. Uh, basically, once they're in those holders, they are not going to change. coffee pot out here drying so you can see how they kind of wedge in there and now this door is not going anywhere I'll show you this one also so they 
and then boom. So they are now held captive in that rubber. Those are excellent. This door uses a spring and strut system. So the springs are holding it in this position basically. If it blows open more, it's cushioned with a spring and the other spring holds it from trying to blow shut. So that's a good system and I'm gonna leave it just like that. Yesterday I I had to re-glue this um, weather stripping that's along the bottom here. It, it had, when I got the truck, it was already uh, coming, coming undone. Somebody's sleepy. It was already coming undone and it finally almost came all the way off. Really. So that is, Part of the reason why I wanted to change our life so that we could always just feel just like he looks right now. Nice and relaxed and calm. And really at any time, if you feel like laying down and letting your eyes roll back, you can do it. Okay? He's been getting a lot more comfortable he doesn't jump up at every single noise anymore. It takes a lot of dog barking for him to get up and react to it. If it's just minor, he just ignores it. So he's changing, he's getting used to it. I'm so glad because I want him to be comfortable. I have one more thing that I wanna work on. I bought new wheel simulators for the truck and they came yesterday and these are beast they're from Pacific Dually I will make a video when I put them on 